And let's just take a look at what the Delhi Assembly currently looks like. In fact, its current strength is a total of 67. If we could just bring that graphic up, the majority mark is now 34. And uh, in that, the BJP has a number of legislators are 28, the Akali Dal is 1, the Aam Aadmi Party is 27, and the Congress is 8, while the JDU has 1, and there's one independent. There's also an AAP rebel, Bini, uh, who has, in fact, I believe, already announced that he would support a BJP government in Delhi. So it's very clear when you look at the numbers there on the screen that the easiest way for the BJP then to be able to form this government in Delhi would be if it's able to get some of the Congress uh, MLAs away from their party. It's much harder for them to break the Aam Aadmi Party. But there have been actually accusations and counter accusations that have been flying around for the last couple of days uh, as this issue heats up. The Prime Minister is now back home so things are expected to uh, take some definitive shape one way or another in the next few days. Nalin Kohli, spokesperson of the BJP joins us here in the studio. Rashmi Kant, Congress spokesperson here with us as well. Aarti Jarat, senior journalist and commentator. And on the phone line with us, uh, senior ARP leader Prashant Bhushan joins us. Uh, Mr. Bhushan, first of all, uh, you know, Arvind Kejriwal tweeted this morning targeting the lieutenant governor. He even claimed that there would be a meeting uh, today between the LG and the BJP, that he would invite the BJP to form the government today. That did not happen. He made an allegation that 20 crores were being offered as bribes to MLAs to break away and, and uh, help the BJP. Where is the proof of that? On both these points, Mr. Bhushan, your response. See, the uh, question is whether the BJP today is in a position to form the government without uh, getting defectors from the Congress party or from the Aam Aadmi party. Uh, clearly, the answer to that is no. The Aam Aadmi party and the Congress party have both said that they are not prepared to support a BJP government. Despite that, despite the fact that six months have elapsed since the assembly was uh, uh, put under suspended animation, uh, despite the fact that uh, they have not been able to, that uh, there has been no possibility of a uh, government being formed in Delhi without this kind of horse trading and defection, etc. Uh, yet the BJP has not recommended uh, the uh, uh, lifting of this suspended animation, uh, dissolution of the assembly and calling for fresh polls. And still they are uh, uh, sort of fishing in troubled waters, trying to somehow cobble up a government, which is what their newly appointed leader uh, uh, for Delhi, for the state of Delhi, has also been saying, that they are awaiting a call from the lieutenant governor in order to be able to form the government. I want to ask the BJP, how is it that they propose to form the government in Delhi? And if they can only do it by means of getting defectors from the uh, Congress party or from the Aam Aadmi party, then is this the kind of politics that they want to do? But Mr. Bhushan, my, my question was, you know, again about the, all the allegations that have been flying around for the last couple of days. Mr. K. Jriwal made a very serious allegation that 20 crores are being offered as bribes to MLAs to break away. Where is the evidence of that? And to, you know, say today definitively that the LG was going to call the BJP to form the government. Now, unless that happens in the next few hours, that hasn't happened yet. So, you know, are a lot of things being irresponsibly said here as well, Mr. Bhushan? Well, there were all kinds of uh, uh, media reports to the effect that the LG is going to call the BJP to form the government. Arvind has only said that if if he does so, that would that would mean that he is inviting the BJP to form a government with the help of defectors, which would be unconstitutional, unethical, and immoral. And so far as this uh, uh, buying of uh, or attempted buying of MLAs is concerned. Even some of our people have been approached through intermediaries, uh, and so have the Congress people. And the evidence of that will be brought out at an appropriate time. Okay, Mr. Bhushan, do stay on the line with us. We're just trying to get your OB up as well because it's been raining very hard here in Delhi. But Nalin Kohli, just respond to the fundamental question oh, yeah. that Mr. Bhushan raised. No, 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 How I'm... does the BJP, if it is able to form this government in Delhi, there is only one way you can do it or you're a minority well, Let government. me give a straight answer on this. In, on May 19th, Mr. Kejriwal, and Mr. Bhushan hasn't referred to that, gave a letter to the LG, the same LG he is now today attacking, by saying that, uh, you know, don't dissolve the assembly. Where were the numbers coming in there? Today, on another channel that I was sitting a short while ago, 
Mohammad Asif Khan of the Congress said, Mr. Manish Sosodia is in touch with me. We want to, to help form a government. He claimed that we will meet in uh, Ghaziabad at Mr. Manish Sosodia's in-laws place because in Delhi there's too much of a media. He named one of their founding members also who's in touch with him who came to meet him. So actually the story is all about the Aam Admi Party. You level allegations. Mr. Bhushan is a very respected lawyer. He would know that you have to have some basis of evidence before you say 20 crores. Here is the former chief minister of Delhi who gave advice to the whole of Delhi, record and do a sting operation on anyone who asks you for a bribe. So what happened to this famous sting operation capabilities? This is just about irresponsible political work. The same LG they are attacking, were there numbers in December? So where was the LG partisan to call them then? When the LG was eating parathas with him and gave a fig leaf to Mr. Kejriwal in his famous dharna, where he then uh, spoke about you know being an anarchist and all that. Was he partisan? On May 19th, when Mr. Kejriwal wrote to the LG, was he partisan? So is this how politics is to be? You make allegations against anyone? The LG, the BJP? My question is... And did we meet the LG today? What no, is you it? didn't. But so therefore, is it are true we that your answer? options are open on forming a government but in let Delhi? Let me just put it like this. Let's understand the issue. What is before in any government? There are only three possibilities whenever there is a hunger assembly. That you will try. You means whoever is handling that, whether it's the president of India or a governor or a lieutenant governor. That let us see, can there be government formation? If there isn't, and you call a single largest party and they don't prove themselves on the floor of the house, they fall. It happened with Atal Bihari Vajpayee in 96. And the third is, if you have run out of all the possibilities, you go for elections. Now that is how the process goes. It doesn't go because one fine morning or... Mr. Kejriwal says, I'll try to form the government. The other fine morning, he gets up and says, let's say the BJP is paying 20 crores. Life doesn't go on no, like no, that. But the point is Actually, that if your uh, options are open, one say, if your options are open on forming government in Delhi, which they are, then the question is, how are you going to do it without breakaway MLAs? Well, let me just answer you the uh, reverse. With the today's news, as well as the allegations made by it, nothing has happened. And the Congress is saying that the Aam Admi Party is chasing them. So why are they leveling for allegations on the BJP? Perhaps this whole story, this is a Congress MLA. Perhaps the story is because the AAP is imploding. Already their MLAs are leaving them. Bini has How will you out. form a government? My question is but that. Abby, you need claim. One minute, ask no, no. me. But you're not ruling it out. Nidhi, so how, is, how does I, it happen? How does the person, arithmetic add up? As a political person, I'm not going to rule out anything because I don't know what may happen after three days. But as of now, we don't have the numbers. There could be elections. So there could be elections. But why is the Aam Admi Party leveling allegations day and night? And are we going to spend all our day instead of working, answering allegations? Okay, so Mr. Rashmika, then, you know, there is concern in the Congress, isn't there, about your own MLAs being soft targets here? Three of them are very vulnerable at the moment. One of them claims that the AAP has approached him. What's going on here? Well, the fact of the matter is that, Nidhi, let me just put, give you two examples of how the Congress, eight Congress MLAs are rock solid in spite of what Mr. Nalin Kohli has talked about, a particular MLA talking to somebody or whatever. Uh, you just refer to particular MLA. Yeah, yeah, he said it. Okay. The I fact is it. that after the railway budget took place, the major opposition space was taken by the Congress when they protested against the railway budget and every single one of the Congress MLAs was present there. Secondly, Last Wednesday, there was a meeting in the AICC where all eight MLAs were there and they stood rock solid. Number three, Congress has not talked about supporting at any stage the Aam Admi Party or the BJP. The Congress stand is absolutely unconditionally clear that there is no clear mandate for anybody. And after the experiment with BJP, the Congress wants elections nothing else that that, the, that that is that is exactly that we think is in the greatest interest of democracy it will be a democratic process to the high standard and we would want elections no ifs no buts no caveats no conditionalities that is the congress position now you may say that two congress mlas are vulnerable or three are vulnerable you may say any such thing i have given you two evidences the fact is in the last two months the entire opposition to the bjp on various issues in Delhi has been done by the has been taken by the Congress and that absolutely nothing has been done by the Aam Admi Party because they are probably trying to keep themselves together. So the target is really the Aam Admi Party MLS. It is Congress. No, not, no I can assure you right now. It's a bit now, hard for them to get I can, some I can, 17, I, 18 AAP MLAs to break away. Harder yeah, than getting you know three of yours. Well, theoret theoretically you have a point there, but the point that I am trying to say is that you are not going to break a single 
single Congress MLA. This okay, but then what's really going on here, Aarti? Because one gets the sense that the BJP is divided on whether to even pursue this line of government formation in Delhi. No, absolutely. I think there's a difference between what the MLAs want and what the central leadership feels. But you know, Nidhi, I mean, the right thing to do, the democratic thing to do is to call a fresh election. Correct. You know, I mean, in December, when the whole process of exploring a government was, the, uh, you know, when the LG did it, the, at that time, the BJP said that they will not form the government because they don't have the numbers. AAP and Congress formed a government which fell apart in 49 days. I mean, what's, what has changed since then? I don't think anything has changed. If anything, you know, everybody is more vulnerable. The Congress is certainly more vulnerable because I think the Congress is really scared that, you know, given their disastrous performance in the Lok Sabha, they're going to be decimated completely in Delhi. I think AAP is scared because of all the negative publicity and their poor performance in the Lok Sabha polls. I think they're scared that they're not even going to get 28 seats. And as far as the BJP is concerned, I think the BJP is also running scared because they're, they're afraid that there will be a blowback because of price rise. Today, again, electricity tariffs have gone up. Electricity rates are rate running high. There's a terrible water crisis in the city. In various parts, you're not getting water. So, you know, I think the BJP is scared price that there's rise. a blowback. So everybody is worried about these elections. But, but, then, but, but that then, doesn't... Kohli, but wouldn't you agree that a fresh election then is the most democratic way to go forward? Well, that is certainly an option. It may well why, be that way. Why shouldn't it be the option? I'm not the person. Exactly. To, I mean, just no, I'm me, asking, well, I mean, what I'm is the party's view thing. on that? Well, the party has said it on way, not one, but many occasions. If there are elections, we are always prepared for it. But this is a call that I'm not going to take in a studio because I'm not entitled to. But why the point that, is, one do you really on. want to form a government in, in this I've way? I've never said that Which either. could really backfire on no. all of you. I mean, Let this me could actually give the ARP a Let different kind it of clear. space as is an there, Is there a situation that talks, where is this whole story coming from? Let's go back to the basics. The basics is because Mr. K. Diwal got up and decided to make a whole set of unsubstantiated allegations. So we are discussing all BJP hypotheticals. Keep, no, 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 it's not no, hypothetical. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Your party has said let, on record let, that you're out. keeping let your options just, open to form a government in Delhi, which point. is only possible. One minute. But let me just finish if you my break point. Away MLA. He has said, but what are the facts speaking? A Congress MLA is saying Mani Sisodia is in touch with him, inviting him to Mani Sisodia's in-laws place. We are not in the picture. Twenty crores is the allegation we are supposed to be paying. And there is no evidence of it. There is no talk. We are, Mr. R. P. Singh, who has done the defamation, is saying that I will leave politics. You please show me the uh, proof. Mr. There Bhushan, is no proof. would this you like to respond is to that? Because they want to be relevant in the media. Mr. Bhushan, That's the, the allegation Party today strategy. is being made against Manish Shishodia. Uh, as per Nalin Kohli on, on another channel that he was on where he's claiming that a Asim Congress... Muhammad Khan made yeah. the allegation, yeah. not me. Yeah. I was so only sitting and I didn't watch that discussion. This is what, what is being alleged. It, it sounds like Muhammad pretty Asim. dirty politics all around. You see, uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. It's all very well for Mr. Uh, Nalin Kohli to sit in the studio and say that the BJP is ready for an election. We have filed a case in the Supreme Court which has been pending for the last five months. It has had at least seven hearings so far. At every hearing, we have filed a case saying that the assembly must be dissolved and fresh elections must be held. We filed it immediately after our government resigned and gave a recommendation to dissolve the assembly and hold fresh elections. In a, each one of those seven hearings so far, since the BJP has been represented, they have tooth and nail opposed the dissolution of the assembly and called for a fresh elections. Why is the BJP opposing uh, fresh elections tooth and nail? And we have been asking for fresh elections from day one, yet the BJP has been opposing it tooth and nail and so has the Congress party. May I just Why are they afraid of elections? Just how and how dare they accuse how us yeah. of horse how trading how when we are so, continuously so, calling for Shad fresh Bhushan elections? Point, Nalin, yeah, 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 why, why, don't you, why don't you come out Perhaps, and say there should yes, be fresh minute, polls? Hold on. Perhaps uh, Mr. Bhushan and Mr. Kejriwal haven't been in touch. Because in this tooth and nail from the beginning till today, Mr. Kejriwal on the 19th of May wrote to the LG, please don't dissolve the house. That's his official letter to the LG of Delhi. It was well publicized. So what is this thing about? I'm confused. No, and secondly, let me let me just add to what uh, Nalin right. Kohli has just All said. Right. So far how has Mr. Prashant Bhushan brought the Congress I'll, I'll come into this? Let me tell you. One second. Uh, one, I'll come to you. Yeah. How has Mr. Prashant Bhushan said that the Congress is opposed to elections, that the Congress has been taking a different stand? In fact, Congress is the only party which has unequivocally, unconditionally, ever since the Kejriwal government went, 
asked for elections continuously. And to answer Nalin's question about one MLA meeting Manish Sodia, Mr. Narendra Kohli is well aware, being a political person, that everybody in politics meets everybody. Does meeting somebody means that he is going away? Has that MLA said that I am I am resigning from the Congress? Has he said that? No, he has no, not he said didn't that. Say that. He Let didn't me, say that no, at no, all. He, didn't. he, didn't. he simply so, said so, Mr. So, Manish Sisodia is inviting me to discuss about government formation so, possibilities. So the point is, I am quoting may, your MLA. It's may, not my words. Yes, it, he, he could well have said that. I have not heard it, so I will take your word for it. But that does not mean that he is going to Aam Aadmi Party. That does not mean he is leaving the Congress. He has shown his credentials by being at every single at every single event that all eight Congress MLAs have uh, have, have been have collected together on. Now, so, all of you, I am sorry, all of you are just making fools of the people of Delhi. Everybody on the street, you go down, you walk down, you ask them. Everybody wants to know when are elections going to be held so in Delhi. When is Delhi going to get a government? That That's the one so question no, no, on so everybody's my, mind. Look, and the decision is entirely in the hands of the BJP. They control the central government. They just have to take a cabinet decision. Tell the LG, dissolve the assembly, hold fresh elections.